As global markets collapsed, Helium followed suit, but it has since outperformed its closest peers over the previous week, gaining three ranks in the total coins by market cap. With Helium on the verge of becoming a multi-protocol network and the launch of multiple new tokens for these protocol, which are all linked to HNT, the investment case at these price levels may never have been so promising in all of Helium's history. Helium joined the rest of the market in the price collapse from all-time high highs last year, but all the while Helium has been building a better, more valuable version of itself. People are still incredibly skeptical and even have turned against Helium after the community vote passed to become multi-protocol. But I think over the long term, Helium will prove to be one of the greatest opportunities in the crypto space, especially at these deflated price levels we are seeing today. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. Today's video, we are going to be discussing the current state of the HNT market, its current outperformance of its closest peers, gaining three ranks by market cap over the previous week. And we will also discuss the recent decrypt article here that outlines the new version or the chapter two for the helium network we will also discuss some sentiment expressed by community members on twitter and discords in the comment section here of some of my videos all of that in today's video we are going to start here on the charts all right guys looking here at the charts we took a look at this in the last technical analysis video and that was right around when we were at these peaks here right around the 11 and 12 dollar range we have since been rejected from the 50 ema as we can see we did not exactly close above it we did fail and got pushed down along with the pullback in the broader markets this drawdown did come back down substantially and hit about the seven dollar mark however if we look at where the candles did close they are significantly higher than this low down here which which is a good sign. Ultimately, at the end of the day, a higher low is a very good thing. If we can confirm this as a new local low, this would become the first new higher low and could be the very beginning of this ultimate uptrend that we might be seeing. Of course, now we are coming back to retest again this previous resistance and support line. We are now testing it as resistance there is a long journey ahead but these levels do play a role as you can see they are respected by the opens and closes here of these candles now down below on the rsi we, we did fail to maintain this breakout that we experienced here and now we are attempting to regain some momentum here on the rsi one thing i would like to point out here on the weekly chart is the MACD. As you can see, we have not had positive momentum here on the MACD weekly for a very long time since about January of this year. So this entire year, Evolve 2022, we have not seen any positive momentum on the weekly chart on the MACD. D. But as you can see, the negative momentum is slowing, as you can tell by these three lighter red bars. If we do make it to some positive momentum here on the weekly MACD, that is going to indicate a very strong possibility that the beginning of this uptrend is starting, and that might happen in the next week or so that we might see a green candle here. So keep an eye out for that. But again, guys, I do want to highlight the importance of, of course, we did come down significantly from these levels all the way back down here. But over that time, Helium did outperform its peers. If I refresh this page here, we can see that Helium is now at the rank number 40 by market cap. Now that is incredibly, incredibly significant here for Helium. In relative terms, that means that Helium is actually at about the most value it has ever been in the crypto market. Even back when we were at all time highs, back around the $60 range, all the way back here in November of 2021, I believe that the highest rank that Helium ever achieved here 
on this rank list was number 39. So in relative terms, regardless of where we have come price-wise from that time, helium is currently being valued by the market as its most valuable or very close to its most valuable of all time. That is really, really important to understand that some of these larger players, some of the people with the money that really pushes a lot of these cryptos up this list are taking note of Helium and are jumping in and driving the price up relative to its peers. As we can see, Helium is currently up 16% over the last 24 hours and down only 6% over the last seven days. And if we look here at its peers, you can see huge red numbers for the past seven days for almost every crypto. This is one of the most stark contrasts we have ever seen on this chart. These are all down between 10 to 30 percent as we move up this list. Helium only down six percent. That is a really stark contrast and it really means that people are coming in and supporting the price, bidding it up, and going long HNT at these levels. Now guys, amidst all of this, amidst all of the price reduction and the outperformance we're seeing, which is incredibly positive, I think it is all related, of course, to the soon-to-be multi-protocol network that Helium is becoming. And as we can see just the other day, Amir Halim quoted a Decrypt article here that highlights this migration. He says it's time. Down below, we can see tons of pessimistic and very negative comments, a lot calling Helium a scam or a joke. I really would encourage these people to read through what is changing on the Helium network. A lot of people feel as though HNT is being neglected and these other tokens that are coming out, as you can see by the title of the Decrypt article, they feel that these tokens now are going to be the ones that are in the spotlight. However, they don't understand that HNT is going to remain the underlying currency or the reserve currency for the entire network and for all of these protocols. Now we will take a look at some of the highlights here in this article. It does express Helium in a very positive light and Decrypt is a very popular news outlet. So this is very good in spreading the word about this new direction that Helium is heading. Now they reference here the mobile and IoT tokens that will soon be available on the Helium network. Of course, that is not, we are not limited to those two protocols. There's also a draft for a Wi-Fi protocol now already. So those things are going to come as they are needed and as the market becomes more valuable and it becomes necessary to break into those different types of protocols and leverage those networks to increase the value of HNT. They do, of course, say here that the protocol can also expand to include additional decentralized protocols, which of course is the plan here for Helium. Now, I think one of the most important pieces of this article, and I'm happy they put it towards the top, is this piece right here. They say the existing HNT token will continue to exist and serve as something of a reserve currency or floor currency for the expanding Helium ecosystem, Novalab CEO and co-founder Amir Halim told Decrypt. Now they do actually put a time frame on the mobile crypto token and they say it will launch this month just down below, which has not, which a date has not been exactly confirmed. However, this article is referencing this month and I know that this past weekend in Austin, Texas, at the Helium event, Amir did say it was going to happen very, very soon. So as we can see down below, they say that the 5G nodes are be are online, but currently are not being rewarded. They are expecting the rewards to start this month. Down below, they do explain what the IOT token will mean. The IOT token is effectively, or the IOT layer of the Helium network is effectively going to be the network as we knew it, the previous Helium ecosystem with all currently over 850,000 active nodes currently earning and mining HNT. This new Internet of Things layer is going to be a sub protocol of the greater Helium ecosystem will continue to earn HNT and that HNT that everyone is currently mining today will be relative will remain the main currency of the network and its price and value will also be related to all of these sub protocols. That is the beauty of this new development and the new structure here on the Helium network. They confirm that down below by saying existing HNT tokens, whether earned via 
running nodes or bought on secondary markets will continue on as is even after the launch of the new mobile and IoT tokens. Now by running nodes they mean the way, they mean mining HNT the way we all know and have been doing for some time. Now they actually make a reference down below that HNT will almost act as a reserve currency the way that gold did back when the US dollar was linked to gold. This is very, very good for all HNT holders, all HNT miners. The value of HNT is going to increase significantly with the adoption of these other protocols that are more valuable than the IoT network. One of the most valuable and most positive aspects of this new infrastructure is the fact that each of these protocols can have their own governance structures. They will be able to govern themselves through their own protocol via the sub DAO that they are. So the mobile token will be its own sub DAO and they would have their own governance that is specific to the 5G network. Now that is so valuable because we don't need to implement certain governance protocols inside of the IoT network if it is only relative to the 5G network. This makes the Helium network extremely more malleable and valuable to other protocols and even larger organizations that might want to open their own sub DAO. Now, as you can see, there's this little graphic here where it's sort of HNT is the reserve currency here and it is related to all of these other sub protocols. Currently, they're only listing IoT and mobile, but there will be a Wi-Fi and other protocols that are very, very valuable, more valuable than IoT, and will be linked directly to our beloved HNT. Now guys, I would encourage you to come over here to the helium.com website, click on chapter two, up on the top of the screen and you will be brought to this page. This page really outlines how this new structure is going to work and they have this little image here that they did redo because a lot of people misunderstood the way they did it the first time. But basically what they're saying is the potential for HNT and for Helium after the HIP51 vote was passed is now significantly, significantly larger. The TAM or total addressable market is far greater now compared to what it was when the addressable market was only IoT devices. Now, as you can see, they also say new tokens, same HNT. They are really trying to make people realize and understand that everything here is linked to HNT because they don't want people to assume that HNT is being abandoned with this new structure. However, people have already begun to do that. Now guys, I do want to come back and highlight a comment I did receive on a Twitter post a about a week ago. As you can see, I was highlighting the fact that HIP51 passing is incredibly good for the Helium network. This was before the major increase in price up to around $12, which I think was driven by the passing of HIP51 and the direction of going multi-protocol for Helium. But as you can see, there are people here and a lot of people that have been involved in Helium, a lot of big YouTube content creators and people on Twitter that are really, really against HIP51. 51. Now Master Chili up here mentions the abandoning of users as you can see. I think that he doesn't understand or maybe a lot of these people do not understand that the HNT is not being abandoned for other protocol tokens. They are all still linked to HNT and everyone mining HNT right now is mining HNT whose value will ultimately be reflective of the culmination of of all of the protocols that the Helium network onboards, which is incredibly good news for anyone that is able to mine HNT after buying a miner that is just a few hundred dollars. Of course, this is not going to make you rich overnight the way it did in the beginning of the network. However, over the long term, investing in a miner now that is between three and $500 and can earn you HNT on a daily basis over the long term, that is going to turn out to be an incredibly profitable miner. Of course, you have to remember there's basically zero ongoing costs associated with these miners and the HNT that that miner is mining is going to be valued based on all of the protocols that the Helium network uses. So guys, I wanted to highlight this. I think that this is one of the most opportunistic times to be investing in Helium. I think the months ahead are going to be very difficult in getting people to understand what is happening, but ultimately I think that this change, this direction shift 
is going to prove to be one of the biggest opportunities in the crypto space. Guys, if you have any questions, if you don't understand, let me know in the comments below. I try to respond to everybody down there. If you like this video, you like this kind of content, please hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. I really appreciate you guys being here, watching until the end. As I mentioned, let me know any comments you guys have down below. But that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And just like that, this video is over and I will see you next time.